Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, man, machine, and everything in between, to, uh, it, you know, it's been a while since I've done a uh, reaction and discussion video. Well, at least it's been a while since I uploaded one because I've actually done a handful of them and just never uploaded them. Mainly because I'm like, ah, whatever, who cares? It's Pokemon, who cares? It's whatever, right? Um, and pretty much, pretty much the stuff I would say is like nothing new compared to like what other people were saying. So I'm like, uh, I don't care. I just won't throw it out there. But anyways, um, today, well, uh, yesterday, PlayStation had a state of play, a complete 25 minutes of just nothing but Final Fantasy, right? Final Fantasy 16. And for those of you who have been around this channel for a bit, you know that I really like RPGs, and I really like Final Fantasy. And for those of you who don't uh, understand how much I like RPGs, if you head over to my Twitch, you can see that right now I'm doing a co-op playthrough of Borderlands 1 Remaster on the PC, which is terribly optimized. I completely messed up. I should have done it on the PlayStation or something. But anyways, and in order to do that playthrough, I have to play the game a total of three times. Because my partner uh, is, not, is not good at the RPG numbers. <laughs> so I have to build their character, uh, do the playthrough, and then also I have to level us up for uh, Cromax. When we do that, you know, the super boss in the game. So, yeah, if that doesn't tell you how much I like RPGs, you know, then I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, when it comes to Final Fantasy, I love Final Fantasy. I really do. Um, so much so that the only reason I haven't really done any, like, Final Fantasy playthroughs on this channel is because I really want to do a Final Fantasy marathon. But right now, Pokemon's in the way. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's that. But hopefully we can... Hopefully we'll do something before Final Fantasy VII comes out. This is a long intro, by the way. Anyways, so I love Final Fantasy. Uh, I love. I haven't played. I haven't played one, two, or three. I have played four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, not eleven, twelve, thirteen, one. I've only played thirteen. I haven't played thirteen two or Lightning's Return, even though I own those games. Uh, Final Fantasy fourteen played a shit ton of Final Fantasy fourteen, Final Fantasy fifteen, right? I also played Crisis Core, and I never played Tactics. I never played Tactics, so uh, that's something I gotta get to at some point because I heard that's really good. And um, you know, I played Dirge Cerberus. Fucking can't wait to play that game on this channel. And what else? You know, Dissidia, Dissidia Dual Decim, Dissidia NT. Um, and, you know, all the other side stuff, right? Played a little bit of Crystal Chronicles, and, and why am I forget? I feel like there's something I'm forgetting. Oh, yeah, Type Zero and stuff like that. Um, you know, you know, I, I've been around the block for Final Fantasy, right? And when Final Fantasy 16 was announced, uh, I was very excited because I remember when I remember when Versus 13 was announced and the first thing I said was I'm not going to see this game until six years from now. It was so obvious because that shit was announced at like the launch of the PS3 or around the launch of the PS3. And then I remember looking at my friend at the time saying we're not going to see this till 2013. I didn't know that I would exactly land on 2013 when they would actually show the game again, <laughs> you know, and it got rebranded as 15 and then 15 came out and it's like they spend a lot of money on it. And also, uh, you know, it's just a bunch of bullshit happened, right? But the main thing about 15 is that I like 15, I do, but I can see that 15 needs to learn how to crawl so that Final Fantasy 16 can learn how to fly. And it's nice to see that, uh, Tetsuya Nomura, I am very grateful towards you, but you're kind of a hack, honestly, and seeing that Yoshi P is in charge of this makes me very excited, especially how much dedication he puts towards Final Fantasy XIV, which he considers his life project, right? So, it's a long intro, but I just kind of want to get it clear that I really like Final Fantasy. And, I, you know, I'm really excited for the next 25 minutes. So let's start it.
Let's start it. Ah, uh, Yoshida. Producer of Final Fantasy 16. And welcome to the state of play. Today, I'm here to talk a little bit about the story, world, and combat system of Final Fantasy 16, as well as reveal. I'm going to be very quiet for most of this. I'm not going to lie. Because I really want to just know the stuff that's going on. Rather than just going like, whoa, I'm so excited, you know? So this is all running on PS5. Which is an which is another thing that he definitely did say before though, is that um it's gonna come out on PS5, right? And it's gonna be a console exclusive. But he also said he's gonna make sure that when it comes on PC that um that it won't take like a whole year for the PC port. And they're going to take their time to make sure that the PC port is very optimized, which I'm very excited for. So, I'll, I'll be buying this game twice. Alright, he's calling the main character Wyvern. I don't know the main character's name. He's calling the main character Wyvern, so I'm guessing that's like a ranking. And like their little military thing going. What's going on here? It's a Moogle. All right. First things first, though. First things first, though. That's really pissing me off. Okay, it's just well, 4K then, because the bit rate is really fucked up right now. So we're doing 4K. I really want it to be clear. I want to see what the hell's going on. There's absolutely no need to have played any of the previous games before jumping in. With the fusion of real-time action and RPG features. Okay. Has been developed as the first true action RPG in the so, Yoshida, you kind of lied a little bit. <laughs> you kind of lied a little bit. Um, because I remember Yoshida saying that you're just going to be controlling the main character and like, you know, you're going to have party members join and stuff. But I just saw like a little section where you control, uh, I'm assuming who, I'm assuming that character's the main character's brother. And probably the main reason why this is a revenge story. And then of course we have uh, one of the battle directors, one of the battle gameplay directors from like Devil May Cry 5 and Dragon's Dogma and like a bunch of other character action games. This game is very heavy on character action from what I've seen so far. And I also do remember in an interview that Yoshida said that, um... That he wants to make Ifrit the main summon for this game because... Ifrit's always kind of left out. Because Ifrit's either, like, on the bad guy's team or it's, like, one of the first summons you get and then you just forget about it. So... Mm. The protagonist of our story is Clive Rosfield. And his Clive. That's an edgelord name. I love it. More edge than Jack Garland. I still have to play that game, by the way. So it's a full life story. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't expect to see that yet. I didn't expect to see somebody bite it. Okay, so it's not chronological. It's not a chronological life story. It's flashbacks. Damn, dude. Just looking at the environments, and more importantly, looking at the uh, the art design for like. Yikes. Oh, Phoenix. I'm going to call it right now that uh, his little brother may not be dead because he is the Phoenix. And as we all know from the Phoenix, 
You will rise from the ashes yet again. Oh god! He's killing Phoenix! Killed his own brother. He was forced to kill his own brother. Is that what just happened? Because I literally... It sounded like he was pummeling the shit out of Phoenix. Oh, look at that. Look at all the crystals and shit. Tetsuya Nomura, eat your heart out. Because you really wanted to do your, uh... Your crystalless lastalum, whatever the fuck is that you wanted to call it, if that uh that whole um storyline. Oh, battle dog! Battle dog! We love battle dog. Yeah, I'm definitely buying this game twice. I'm definitely buying this game twice. I'm getting it on PS5, and then I'm getting it on PC when it comes out. I actually think I might just pick up 4070 this year. They just got announced. And I'm not someone who usually hops on new graphics cards. And to be fair, I've only had like a 3060 for like a year. Um, But just seeing how like... How something like Resident Evil 4 Remake runs on 3060 and like Hogwarts Legacy. And like they run... For me at least, they run very smoothly. Um, But I would like to get... I would like to get like a really high quality along with a high frame rate you know i get a pretty high quality already but i want to have everything everything go right so i think i might get a 4070 hopefully if the market doesn't go too crazy this year with it i'm not grabbing it at launch even though i could i also really like the use of color going on in the environments oh and before i got cut off earlier i wanted to say uh Looking at the characters, um, now, let's take a to I don't want to say character design, I want to say more like the clothing design for the characters. You can tell, you can tell this is very, like, heavy Final Fantasy, well, heavy fantasy, right? It kind of leads, um, all the modern and, like, high-tech aesthetics that Final Fantasy have been going for pretty recently. And that's something that, something that you really notice in, um... Final Fantasy XIV, for the most part, is that it's a lot of high fantasy shit instead of, like, sci-fi fantasy. Or even, like, steampunk. Even though sometimes we get that steampunk in fourteen, But this one, it's like... Yoshi P gets to make a fucking... an actual... I mean, I love fourteen. I get me wrong. But he gets to make, like, a mainline Final Fantasy game. Technically, fourteen is mainline, too, because it is called fourteen, but... And the music sounds fucking great. The bitrate is being destroyed, which I love because YouTube can't handle it. This is really nice. It's very nice. I'm very excited. One of the things that I kind of hope for, though, because I see it in the corner, is that there's like a, um, you know, there's like a Kingdom Hearts, like, quick menu thing going on there. They also used it in Final Fantasy 15 and even in Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Uh, I kind of want, when it comes to character action, like, it's nice to have shortcuts. I kind of want complete free range of movement, like in Devil May Cry 5. I kind of want more of that, but also I can see as to why they wouldn't do something like that, because they're going full character action on here. Well, not full character action, but they're going mostly character action. But they also don't want to scare away all the Final Fantasy veterans that... Especially the people that felt really weird about Final Fantasy VII Remake when that got announced. I remember some people were disappointed that the gameplay was more action-oriented rather than turn-based. I'm assuming we're going to have, like, a training mode. Accessories... Accessories and equipment, not gear, not gear and loot. Keep that in mind. Not gear and loot, people. Okay. I want to see some DLC outfits. <laughs> That's what I want to see. Oh, man. So I heard this game's going to be around, like, maybe 30 hours? Maybe? It's either like, it's either like the game is... 30 hours, 
and that's including the cutscenes, or either it's the game is 30 hours worth of cutscenes. <laughs> I forgot, I forgot which it was. But I am, oh, I am very excited. And it's really nice to see like an actual, like a more, you know, if they're gonna go action, it's nice to see, um, how do I explain it? I like how Final Fantasy VII Remake has a good mixture between the two, but also it's not good to where, like, whether you guard or block or whatever, you're still going to take damage regardless because it's RPG-ish, you know? Okay. Story focus, action focus? No, action focus, man. Action focus. That's the way to do it. You want to feel it. You want to feel it. Subtitles, wireless, control language, text, language, voiceover. Okay. Voiceover language. So we're going to have dual audio. From the get-go, from the start. That's great. That's fucking fantastic. Clive will meet many characters along his journey who will join him as friends and allies. This place. These are fallen ruins. Oh, damn. What happened to her? I want to know what the marking on their face means. Because in Final Fantasy XIV, like, most of the time when you see someone with a marking on their face, you're like, alright. You're like, alright, we know you're important. Some of these companions will even accompany Clive on his adventures, fighting alongside him and finding lots to talk about along the way. I hope that we get kind of DLC like Final Fantasy XV, though. Whereas we get like certain episodes for characters. My motherfucker just went into a double trigger. That's the most double trigger I've ever seen. What? Oh, is that Ramu? Yup. I'm guessing she has Shiva on her side. Or Shiva, however you want to pronounce it. Yup. She definitely just fucking... She definitely just did her DT. That looks, that looks like a Shiva. <laughs> that looks like a Final Fantasy XIV Shiva. Torgal is the name of the dog. I wonder what he turns into. Because let's be honest. Imagine the dog has a summon. Or he'll probably use something like um, Red 13's Limit Break. Battle Dog. I love Battle Dog. Battle Dog's always a nice plus in every game. Battle Dog is great. You damn right give that good boy some treats. Goots. Get her upstairs. I'm sorry, Goots? Well, but none will... Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her feet. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. Oh my god, your voice. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Your voice is very deep, and I appreciate it. Eat that apple. After progressing somewhat through the game, Clive will gain access to Sid's hideaway. Sid! Hey, Sid's back. Which, I mean, it's a staple. Where's Biggs and Wedge? Clive will find a shop where he can purchase new weapons, armor, and... Whoa, old lady, what's going on with your eye? Is it just like some, you know, you got a blind side, or is it like some magic? All these people seem like infused with something. After upgrading your equipment or unlocking new abilities, try accessing the Arete Stone. Arete Stone. I was gonna call it an Arch Stone, like it's fucking Dark Souls. Here, players can enter a virtual training area outside the bounds of time and space, where they are free to refine and practice combos of their very own. That's good. That's good. Once you're confident in your skills, try your hand at arcade mode and see how your scores stack up against Arcade mode or bloody palace? <laughs> like, <laughs> call it what it is, arcade mode. The hideaway is home to a lot of like, even Hi-Fi Rush had their own version of bloody palace. Not 
Not only will players discover a variety of side quests here, but they can also view information on quests offered all around Valistia. Valistia? Is that the name of the continent we're on? Ashley, Graham, what are you doing here? Oh, never mind. She has the longest fuck ponytail. When did you get back? So, in the interview that Yoshi P had, I heard that uh, he's gonna try and keep. Well, try. He's going to keep the uh the tone of the game like you know how do i say he's going to keep the like the tone of the game like in its in its own range unlike other final fantasy games where like oh meteor's falling down time to go to the chocobo races right he's trying to you know he's keeping the tone of the game pretty serious even though there are going to be moments of downtime but there's not going to be any there's probably not going to be any like snowboarding or anything like that there's also Lorsman Harpocrates who will unlock Valistia's secrets as Clive recounts oh look at that adventures I have quite the find for you today okay so we do have some sort of stat increases you wish to study the tones oh shit Oh, this is for another of my lectures. And Vivian Ninetales. What is it? <laughs> Vivian Ninetales. She's a big fan of Naruto. Clive, the current state of the realm. Oh my god. On key players. You have a you have a fucking actions and features in the hideaway to help You have a goddamn Xenoblade Chronicles community tab. <laughs> fucking Christ. You got social links. Ooh, it's a Malboro. It's looking nice. Why say Malboro like that? Malboro! Morble. That's what they're called? I always thought they were called Malboros. Well, I'm saying it in plural tense, and it's making me sound like I'm saying a completely different thing. Oh my god, was that a fucking parry? Where's the behemoth? Show me a goddamn behemoth. I want to see a behemoth. I want to see a behemoth use fucking ecliptic meteor. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's one of the down. Uh, that's one of the downsides of this game that I kind of don't like that I saw in it, that I saw in previews before, is the quick time events because they seem like they last too fucking long. Oh my god. This is the type of action I live for. Where you where you're just seeing them do a bunch of shit and you can't tell what the fuck's going on. That was a that was a smooth ass transition. I'm guessing Hugo has Titan on his side. Titan or Atlas, however you want to call it. Oh, this is this is looking very nice. Oh my god. Oh, I need me a 4070 just to see that shit. <laughs> oh, that was really smooth. You got shock lock systems from like Kingdom Hearts? What the fuck was that? Got some moon civilization shit going on? Is that what's going on here? A little bit of Final Fantasy 4? Oh my god. Yup, yup. I'm getting a fucking 4070. That's it. That locks it in. That locks it in. Look at this shit. Oh my god. The 11th hour. I better see some fucking Knights of the Round. Get out of there, Torgal. You getting blown up over there, buddy. Look at all this Final Fantasy XIV shit going on, too. 
like all this fucking pay attention to the pay attention to the arena while you're fighting the boss. Are you doing your mechanics? Infernal Icon, Ifrit. As Clive takes command of the iconic might coursing through his veins and shatters his very limits. Woo! Look at that. The point of Final Fantasy 16, however, has to be the breathtaking icon versus icon battles. They look cool, right? But again, in previews, I see how slow and bulky they are, which I really just kind of hate every time you do something like a kaiju battle. It's just very slow and bulky. I get that the characters themselves have weight and you want to you wanna show that. Like this, for example. This one right here. It looks very slow to me. It's like fucking Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 3 levels of slow, right? Like, I want it to be fast. I want it to be just as fast as the main gameplay. Oh my god, look at that. Oh my god, look at that. This is a fight against... Of course it's the fight against Bahamut. A bunch of fucking projectiles and shit. Oh my god. That's just Bahamut. What about Bahamut Zero? And like fucking Neo Bahamut and all that shit. What about the Mega Sisters? Are they here? Okay, alright. Okay, so hold up. Remember when I said I want the gameplay to be as fast as the character action shit? That's what I want. You see all that shit that just happened? I'm guessing, I'm guessing over time, you're gonna have your first icon battle, and it's gonna be big, hulky, and slow, you know? And I'm assuming as the game progresses, the battles are going to get faster and faster because your character gets more used to it. Look at this Kingdom Hearts 2 final boss battle. <laughs> Look at this shit. Of course, the fight against Bahamut's a bunch of projectiles and bullshit. Are you gonna go to space? Oh, you're gonna have to go to space at some point. You're gonna fight this motherfucker in space. You're gonna fight somebody in space. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. This may be space right here. This doesn't even look like space. It looks like they're near, like, a crystal or something. Oh, wait, no. It's a city. Okay. Who the fuck is that? Typhon. I do not remember Typhon. I don't remember that. See, that's what I mean by I want fast. Oh my god. And who the fuck is this supposed to be? Titan Lost. Oh my god. <laughs> if this is Titan Lost, where's Alexander? Holy shit. Remember when I said I wasn't going to react that much and I was going to be very quiet during this? I, I didn't, I honestly didn't expect all this. This, just like how Final Fantasy XIV is a love letter to people who love Final Fantasy, this is just that. This is also that. Oh my god. This is what I mean by Final Fantasy XV had to learn how to crawl so that sixteen can fucking fly. Oh my god, and the music. Oh, I can't wait for the PC port of this. Oh, fuck, it's Odin. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit, he's trying to hit you with that one-hit kill. Where's Cypher when you need him? Oh my god. Alright, this shit is over the top. So, everyone, what did you think? Thank you for taking the time to join us today. Was that 25 minutes already? Worldwide, June 22nd, and there's still plenty that we've left Isn't Street Fighter 6 also coming out in June? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. 
to reveal that Final Fantasy 16's main theme was written and performed by one of Japan's greatest recording artists, Kenshi Yonezu. We've okay. A lot more in store for you in the coming weeks, and I Sorry, I went quiet because I wanted to listen to what the fuck they were saying. On release day. This has been Naoki Yoshida, producer of Final Fantasy 16. See you again soon. Oh my god, that was great. That was great in every sense of the fucking word. Holy shit. Now it's 25 minutes already? Man, that went by so fucking fast, and I had nothing but fun looking at it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, before, before I cut myself off, I wanted to say, it's been a while. It's been a very, very, very long while since we've just had, like, a year of games that are just nothing. Well, I won't say nothing, but that are just mostly, like, very hard hit. <clears throat> I'll lose my voice a bit. There's <laughs> nothing but a bunch of very hard hitters. Um, it's been a long time since we've had that. Like, a very long time. I honestly want to say it's been since, like, Assassin's Creed Unity. Since we've had, like... Well, I want to say the, the downfall of that time started when Assassin's Creed Unity came out. Because around that time, every game came out buggy and glitchy. Even The Witcher 3 came out buggy as shit. Uh, Cyberpunk was a big letdown, you know, you have Division 2, which, whether you like it or not, I, you know, Division was let down as well, and then just a bunch of other games came out that were also let downs. Of course, they were very, they were like, you know, very good games that came out in that time as well, like Monster Hunter World and Rise and anything from Capcom. Because, <laughs> you know, because Capcom put out a lot of good stuff, uh, after that Monster Hunter World shit, you know, Resident Evil Remix. People didn't like Resident Evil 3, but I like Resident Evil 3. Um, you can check my Resident Evil 2 and 3 and 4. And later on, uh, coming soon, my 5 playthrough <laughs> on my channel. If you're interested in that, just be aware that Resident Evil 2 and 3 were recorded back when I was first kind of like really getting started. So the audio may not be the best. Um, especially for three, it was very hot summer that year and you can probably hear my air conditioner in the background, but it, you know, it was my first time playing the game. So I'm going to keep it on my channel anyways. Um, you know, this year, like you started out with fucking hi-fi rush and goddamn and, and, uh, dead space and Resident Evil four and, uh, was Signalis at the end of, no, Signalis was at the end of last year. Um, there's other games that came out that are just as good, uh, or, well, just, maybe not just as good. Those games are, like, really high nines and tens, but there are good, like, solid seven and eight games that came out as well, like, uh, like, Atomic Heart, right, Wild Hearts, uh, is it Wild Hearts? Yeah, uh, I heard, uh, Wulong that came out, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to think of a lot of things because, you know. I can't think of them all right now, but uh, basically a lot of really good, really good games came out at the beginning of this year, which is something that we really don't see that much. Like we'll get maybe one or two really good games at the beginning of the year, and then they get forgotten about during given war times because, you know, those are all rigged to shit. Um, or you just have a year like where Breath of the Wild just wins everything when it definitely doesn't fucking deserve it, especially best soundtrack. I don't care what anybody says, there's no way, there's no fucking way that Breath of the Wild soundtrack, which barely has anything, uh, wins over all the other fucking soundtracks that were there that year, especially Persona 5, like, fucking, what? Like, come on, man. You know, uh, same thing this year, same thing with the, the Game Awards that happened this year, you're telling me, I forgot who won Best Soundtrack, I think it was God of War Ragnarok, it's like, God of War, I like you, but uh, you're telling me over Xenoblade Chronicles 3? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you really kidding me? One of the main things of Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is the music. Are you fucking kidding me? Right? Um, but anyways, we're not going to talk about that. We're here to talk about Final Fantasy. So, uh, I was kind of just saying everything I wanted to say as it, as it kept going because it just wouldn't stop. Right? Um, oh, man, I really... Oh man, 
<laughs> what do I have to say about this? I felt like I really said everything, or maybe I'm just too excited that I can't really uh say what I want to say. Um, I talked about how I want you know. I wish that the character action was more, was more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? More, uh, you were more, like, fully controlling your character, like in Devil May Cry 5. Uh, but this one, you know, you also got to get the Final Fantasy veterans to play this game. So, you know, it's not going to be, like, super character action, but it's going to, it's definitely going to be heavy character action, right? So you won't have completely full control of your character. Um, this game's looking really great. Uh, I want to say, like, one of the first previews, uh, well, one of the, not first previews, but it was, like, what, a month or two ago, a month and a half ago, um, some people got, f uh, you know, they got on a flight, head to Japan or whatever, or head to, like, LA or something, and they got to play, uh, they got to play, like, a build of the game, and they were like, yeah, it's great, and even some of the gameplay we saw from that, it's like, yeah, it's great, but it also seemed, like, very just generic, action anime game in terms of gameplay but now that we see more polish on it it's it's very it's very good oh my god oh my god look at that fucking that that is a screenshot <laughs> holy shit um you know it was the fight with the with the girl that turns into garuda i guess and like it was very like like not not bad but it seemed very generic in terms of the controls, but now you're looking at you're looking at all this, right? And uh, go to gameplay. Come on. Yeah, there you go. You're looking at all this, right? And seems very good. But also, you can you can also see when the person's using the uh, the quick commands down here, right? So uh, oh, I'm moving my mouse on it. <laughs> <laughs> like you guys can see my mouse, you can't see my mouse. But down there with the quick commands, you can also see when when uh when the person playing the game is like using them. And that's what I mean by like it's not full character action, but it's it's heavily it's heavily influenced by it, right? Um cuz you don't have any like quick select stuff like that in like Devil May Cry 5. I'm going to keep using Devil May Cry as my go-to example because it's the one that most people know, right? Um, I'm guessing these are like Bahamut's abilities and stuff like that. I'm going to stop analyzing this because I'm... Because I honestly, usually I wouldn't watch it like this because this is a game that's so high profile to me that I just really want to go in as blind as possible. But I also do want to make this video because I'm just really excited for it. You got like a whole skill tree system and all that stuff. And yeah, look at that. Look at that taunt. So you can, I guess you, if, if there's a taunt move here, then I'm guessing at some point you can choose whether you want your layout to be more tanky or more DPS. Um, I'm going to assume that support's not really a thing. Uh, you know, healer's not really a thing, but you know, it's from, it's from the mind of Yoshi P, right? So one boy can do anything. <laughs> Have you guys played Final Fantasy XIV? Have you guys played the near raids on Final Fantasy XIV? Have you gotten hit by that fucking train out of nowhere? Like, real railroads? What the fuck is going on? Oh, shit, is that a train? Oh, this bitch threw a building at me. Are you kidding me? Fuck, I fell off the map. <laughs> Damn it. Who, who died? We're going to wipe now. <laughs> Wasn't me. Right. Uh, I love... I love... Oh my god, this logo seems like there's room for, like, I'm moving my mouse again, but on the uh, right side, it seems like there's room for one more, one more, like, character on the logo. Maybe it won't be, because that's something that Final Fantasy XV did really good. Once you beat the game, the logo changed, and I was like, oh shit, that's cool. Um, You know, Final Fantasy logos have always been really great. Always been really great. Um, But... You know, if it fighting fighting against Phoenix is going to be like a big thing, and whether it's the uh, event that starts the um, that starts Clive's main like drive to get revenge, because earlier, earlier, around here, yes, like right here, 
Like, you can definitely hear it, and it sounds like he's beating the shit out of Phoenix. And it sounds like he's basically killing his little brother. Like, you can also kind of see, like, Phoenix's feather down there. And whether it's the main character lost control or someone, like, or uh, some other character, like, uh, manipulated him in order to kill his brother. Or whether it was all, like, due to the attack of the other nation, his brother lost control and, in, and there was no way of getting his brother uh, back. So he had to kill his brother or something. I'm assuming it's his little brother. It has to be, right? Um, let's see. I'm sorry. Is that motherfucker riding a chocobo? I didn't even fucking pay attention to that. Was you riding a chocobo? Hold up. Hold up. Uh oh. Damn it. <laughs> I lost it. Damn it. I lost the shot. Wait, wait. Hold up. Let it play. I want to see a chocobo. Hey, Chocobo! I didn't even pay attention to that. Chocobos are back. Of course, Chocobos are back. But, but you know what I don't hear? I don't hear the Chocobo theme. It might be like that for the trailer. You know? But I don't hear the Chocobo theme. Maybe the Chocobo theme is not serious and edgy enough for this game. No Chocobo theme, guys. I don't hear any Chocobo theme. No chocobo music. I don't hear it. Oh, these environments look great. Listen to that. Listen to that fucking... What is that? A clarinet? Oh my god. I'm gonna stop listening to it before I get fucking copywritten. But yeah. Up there you got Zintatsuken going. I don't know how to pronounce that. I just always call it Zintatsuken. Or I say Zintatsuken. Right? That's my fun way of saying it. I like having fun sometimes. Maybe you don't. I don't know who you are. You don't know who I am. So don't judge me, okay? And I won't judge you. But that's a lie. I'm always judging you. I'm looking at you right now. What are you doing? You fucking eating cereal watching this? You know what? Where's a black screen? I want you to, I want you to look at your own face in disgust. <laughs> look at your reflection. Lucky I can't find one right now. <laughs> oh, here we go. Look at the screen. Look at your reflection. Look at you. Eating your cereal. Eating your sandwich. Watching this video. What's the matter? Your food got cold because you didn't know if you wanted to watch this video or not? Look at you. You disgust me. <laughs> <laughs> Just going on a tirade. Um, seems like we're going to have a little bit of maybe a love dynamic or something. Because they, they really put F sense on it. It's like, she's his childhood friend. She's like, oh my god. I'm so glad to see you. One of the few times his character smiles. It really is. Such encounters and reunions will set Clive on a path of great personal growth. It is. Clive. I love you, Clive. I want you to put a baby in me. <laughs> Whoa, right now? No, not right now. You know, wine and dime me first. At least take me out to dinner before you fuck me. Um, <laughs> but, um, you know, they say right there that the character is going to help him with personal growth and stuff, whether that means like social links or whatever. I just think it means that in the story, there's going to be certain characters where you can see that Clive smiles more around them because it seems like, uh, you know, the event that makes him go down the path of revenge is really going to fuck like fuck him up. Right? He's going to become punished, punished Clive. Venom Clive. <laughs> um, you know. So, there'll probably be like a little bit of a love story here. I'm assuming this guy here is kind of his mentor whose name I've already forgotten, but whose voice I shall not forget. I want him to eat that fucking apple like it was that tomato in that one movie. What was it? It was Lord of the Rings? One, one of the duty to tomato and it's all juicy and shit and it drips down his beard and it's gross as fuck yeah but uh but this is just this is just great one of the things that i really wonder though is that i thought the game was like every character kind of had like uh 
an affinity for uh idolin idolin uh uh fuck wrong button uh where where are they aeon my bad idolin aeon whatever the hell you want to call it gfs your guardian force um <laughs> guardian force make sure you equip your gfs my what for <laughs> noah's not here yet um but i always thought that like in the previews for this game well not always you know until the last one they did like a month and a half ago or whatever but for, for the most part when they announced this game i thought it was like every character kind of just had like an affinity towards one but it seems like well at least your main character even right up there on the top left you can see it um can switch between uh you know their uh their guardian force <laughs> can switch between them and i wonder if that's something that's just unique to clive as a character or if every character just has the ability to kind of like well every character that has the ability to uh switch aeons um if they all have this kind of ability to like switch their affinity towards one or the other um but uh because i would really like because if that's the case right i would really like for the final battle to be just you and whoever you're fighting constantly switching between different fucking aeons and just going at it like it's a fucking pokemon battle <laughs> like just beating the shit out of each other if that's the case i really hope it is that would be a nice build up you know every boss fight you fight has like an affinity for one aeon right or whatever but then at the end of the game it's not just one one aeon you fight it's like a dude that switches between multiple and it just goes and goes and goes. I want motherfuckers to like tire out, have no abilities by the end of it, and like still fucking on a verge of passing out, just punching each other in the face. Like, <laughs> I want it to be really visceral. Not visceral, but really just like, you know what I mean? Just fucking, just raw. <laughs> fucking Christ. Uh,. Yeah, there's really nothing else to really say. Like, during this whole entire thing, I kind of said everything I wanted to, besides the fact that this shot alone, well, maybe not, hold up. This is the shot too, but this one right here. Oh, come on. Come on, you know what I want. You know what I want. You know what I want. This shot alone right here. All that shit right there, the bit rate's all fucked up too, which is very funny. <laughs> uh i just want to be able to see this so i can't wait for this game come out on pc and by the time it comes out on pc i would probably have a new graphics card uh and i would love to get this if i can get this running at 4k 60 maybe at least 120 frames that would be nice and also uh just as a side note cyberpunk also just announced that they got a new like path tracing ray tracing thing going on which only certain uh it's so high tech and new tech that only certain GPUs will be able to handle it. And once you do it, it's only going to run at like 30 frames. I really hope that it's a good 30 frames. Um, like a good solid 30 frames. Cause if it's a bad 30 frames, then you really feel it. You can feel it real bad. Um, but yeah, that's a force of the land. Fuck it. It's going to be a bunch of metal names for attacks and shit. <laughs> fucking 11th hour <laughs> i'm telling you i better fucking see knights of the round oh i better see knights of the round also is that ship is that shiva in the background of this fight hold up i just want to see that real quick also i'm assuming the big armored dude that he was fighting like just now is an iron knuckle i'm just gonna assume that's what that is oh come on pan the camera who the hell is that might be as like his friend using Shiva or whatever. Well, at least it seems like that he's using Shiva because up there in the corner, I'm assuming that's Shiva. Shiva, Garuda, and Ramu. Torkoal's helping you out in this fight. Yeah, I don't know. I'm assuming that's Shiva. I'm assuming that's Shiva in the background. And I really would love to see if Torkoal himself... Um, hey, Torkoal, the fucking Pokemon. <laughs> Torkoal's the name of the dog, right? I hope I'm not getting it wrong. I really would like to see if Torkoal can, um, if the dog has an affinity with an Aeon, 
So imagine you're just fighting and you see that motherfucker change and you're like, oh shit, Torkoal, get him. But at least down here, you can see that Torkoal has the ability to sick him boy, heal, and what is that? What is that, Ravage? Ravage. Barnabas. Oh my god. Look at that fucking Virgil shit. Look at that Virgil cut. You're just fighting Virgil and Devil Trader. Look at that sword. Oh my god. Alright, we're done. We're done here with this video. Anyways, yeah, Final Fantasy 16 looks very nice. It comes out in what, two months? Right? For PS5 at least. Um... I don't even know if this game's coming out on Xbox, and if it's not, then who oh boy, Xbox is having a really, I don't want to say they're having a bad time, but in terms of their exclusives, it's like, Xbox, why did you, why did you buy so many companies and you don't have a game to show for it yet? Fucking next month is, uh, the beginning of next month is goddamn, uh, what's that game called? It's fucking, uh, I was about to call it First Blood. What's that game called? Uh, Redfall. It's fucking Redfall. And it just came out. Uh, yesterday, not yesterday, two days ago, that that game's only going to be running at 30 frames. How long have you guys delayed that game? The game doesn't even look that great either. But anyways, we're not going to talk about that. But man, I'm, I hope this comes out on Xbox for people, right? For people who have an Xbox and not a PS5. But I think it might just be a PS5 exclusive for a bit. Then it'll come to... um. Then it'll come to PC and Xbox and everything else besides Switch. You know, but hey, man, Final Fantasy 16 looking really fucking good, looking really fucking great. And I'm just really happy to see to see what the evolution of 15 is, you know, because I remember when Versus 13 was announced and everyone's like, that's it. You can't go up from here. This is going to be great. And then that went in development hell and then. A bunch of that game got scrapped. There's literally a moment in Final Fantasy 15 where your characters hop on a train and they pass fucking the king uh kingdom, the continent of Tenebrae, uh, which is like supposed to be the Final Fantasy area of the game. And your characters just go, "Oh look, it's Tenebrae," and then you they, they just they just go because all that got cut out the game. <coughs> it, it felt it feels like really bad uh, when you see that. Um. And then even when you head to uh, the place that's basically Italy, what, what is it called? Altitia? Altitia? I think that's the name of the place you head to in Final Fantasy XV, where you fight Leviathan and stuff like that. Um, Like, even, even that, you don't really hang around that much in that area. Uh, So, most of the game, you're just hanging around, like, the main, the main continent that you're in, which... I, I can't think of the name right now, which, but it's basically Texas. It's basically just Texas, right? You're, you're either in the desert or you're in like a plains and there's a small little forest to the side, but it's not that big. Uh, and then you head to the sewers a little bit and that's kind of it, right? <clears throat> but, uh, but yeah, it's nice to see like a bunch of environments in here. It's nice to see a lot of the fantasy put back into Final Fantasy. Don't get me wrong. I love Final Fantasy 7. Everybody loves Final Fantasy 7. Who doesn't love Final Fantasy 7? If you don't like Final Fantasy 7, you're just lying to yourself at that point. But anyways. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we love like cyberpunk, uh, sci-fi fantasy and all that stuff. But it's nice to like, it's been a while since we've had like strict fantasy. You know, unless you were playing Final Fantasy 11 or Final Fantasy 14. Like, since the last time we've had, like, strict fantasy in, uh, in, like, Final, Fa in Final Fantasy it was Final Fantasy 9, and that didn't sell well because it went back to strict fantasy. But 9 was a love letter at the time. 11, not so much. I heard it was alright. It was heavy on lore and stuff like that. 14, huge love letter, and this seems like the same deal, where it's just a huge love letter. Do you like Final Fantasy? Did you grow up with Final Fantasy? You're going to love this game, Right? Whether you don't like whether you don't like the combat, whether you like the combat or not, in terms of Final Fantasy itself, uh, gameplay aside, and the stuff that's gonna be in here, you are going to love this game. Right? Uh it's gonna be really good. It's gonna be really good, and I'm really excited for it. Uh what else is there to say? 
I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. There's only <laughs> there's only so much I can talk about Final Fantasy before going down a tirade, right? So I'm gonna stop myself now. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything I want to say for this video. Games looks great. Can't wait for it to come out. Gonna play it day one. Uh, whether I upload it or stream it, I don't know. I'll probably, you know what? This is probably a game I wouldn't stream, mainly because I don't want the bit rate to get destroyed. And I'm going to try and render out as best as I can. Or, you know, by the time it comes out, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do with, for this game when it comes out. But I'm definitely going to play it around launch, right? So, if, you're, if you want someone who really likes Final Fantasy and you want to see them play Final Fantasy 16, right? And someone who's at least used to character action. I'm not as good as other people doing crazy fucking shit in Devil May Cry 5, right? All that key binding and shit. And like fucking juggling the fuck out of enemies. Um, I'm really good in high fi rush though, <laughs> right? <laughs> but um, if uh, you know, if you want to see someone who likes Final Fantasy and who likes character action, uh, you know, maybe when it comes out, head over towards my channel. And if you're not gonna head on to my channel, I'm just gonna straight up throw a shout out there that's heavily not needed on my part because this person is way way more popular than me and i'll never get that popular but hey if you're not gonna watch me watch maximilian dude watch maximilian dude maximilian dude right here i go down here bam there's a reason why his name is associated with final fantasy shit yes he's heavy in fighting games but also dude really likes final fantasy and he really likes character action um so if you're not going to watch my playthrough, at least watch Max's, because I know he's definitely going to do one. Um, it's it's a no-brainer, right? Don't, don't want, please, do me a favor. Do me a solid, right? If you're not going to watch mine, go watch Max's. At least watch it from someone who knows something about Final Fantasy instead of someone trying to hop on the hype train. Please. Please. That's all I ask, right? Um, so, as for my channel... Right now, uh, uh, going up, getting ready for Jedi Survivor. Uh, right now, uh, Jedi Fallen Order is getting uploaded. So, go check that out. Um, and once Jedi Survivor comes out, I'm going to be uploading that as well. Um, it won't be as fast as other people, right? Because I'm actually going to play the game rather than just getting parts out. But, um, yeah. If, if, if that's what you're into, <laughs> you uh, check those out. Um... Right now, I'm putting up Pokemon, the Pokemon Crystal playthrough, right? So I can continue the Pokemon Marathon. It's been a long while recording that game. Pokemon Crystal was way longer than what I remembered. That game is really long, and since it's, you know, the Game Boy Color Pokemon Crystal and not the, not like uh, Soul Silver and Heart Gold, uh, you know, the game itself is so old that, like, even even like the updated version, quote unquote updated version that I'm playing, uh, it's just it's 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 not bad, but it's just a trying time, you know. It, it took very long, so please show that some love. Uh, other than that, like I said earlier, got you know at some point, Resident Evil Five co-op playthrough is going to be getting uploaded over at Twitch, especially tonight, if you're watching this on the day this video came comes out, which is the 14th? What's today's date? Where's my phone? Phone's all the way over here. Today's 14th. Oh, look at that. I got a, I got a, I got a match on, on my dating app. Anyways, uh, <laughs> today's the 14th. If you're watching this, uh, you know, April 14th, tonight, um, you know, it's going to be hopefully the final part of Borderlands, uh, Borderlands 1 remastered, enhanced edition, whatever, like that, that co-op, that co-op playthrough, hopefully tonight's the final night for that one, and then we'll move on to other games, um, other games like this year, we're doing Remnant, some co-op in Remnant, and, uh, maybe other Resident Evil games and Halo, if I can get to it in time. Um, and if our schedules align, 
what else is there for me to talk about? Uh, I think those are all the playthroughs I really want to talk about right now. Is there any other playthrough that I have recorded that is coming out? Um, in in like a month or so, I want to say. A month or so. Yeah, something like that. Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is going to come out. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be doing a playthrough of Breath of the Wild before that comes out. If I do, uh, you know, just stay tuned, check it out, subscribe, please click the notification. If you like this video, leave a like. If you dislike it, leave a dislike. And if you subscribe, do it because you want to watch this stuff. Don't, don't do it as a courtesy, because if you do it as a courtesy, it honestly hurts the channel more than, more than it helps it. It tells people, it tells YouTube that like, Hey, you got subscribers, but they're not coming back for your video. So, you know. So yeah, there's that. Anyways, I've been talking for a long time. This was supposed to be like a 30 minute thing. It has now been, it's now been close to an hour because I got a lot to talk about with this, but uh, yeah. So let's end it here. As always, I want to say thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care.